Awesome. Hey, my name is Steve Martelli, and in this video, I want to talk a little bit about the concept of the energy of momentum. So, this is going to, I'm going to make an obvious statement, and the obvious statement is that whatever um, you focus on, you're reinforcing in your environment, okay? So, uh, there's two ways to look at that. Whatever's on the outside and you're focused on, well, then you'll internalize self image and then you'll reinforce that and then you'll create it again on the outside, right? And that's just the cycle of creation. It's like something we focus on, daytime, it could be daytime, uh, external world, we focus on this external world like um, the abundance of something or the lack of something, the abund abundance of money, the lack of money, the abundance of love and joy, the lack of abundance and joy. It's always what we're focused on. So if you focus on it, a different way you'll get different results right but this energy momentum so what I mean is you're focused on let's example again something on the outside that you do want um, maybe reminders of like sales goals that you set for yourself or like certain achievements you've uh, you know or gratitude journal these are all things that are external to you they're not inside but by focusing on them it changes your self-image the way you see yourself feel about yourself and because of that, you start to create this image on the inside and this subjective self-image that you have of yourself becomes a place of focus and then you project that onto the world, which then ideally in time and through a gestation period creates more of those experiences on the outside of you, which you can then focus on and then create and reinforce that self-image. And that's why it's like someone who's already like really successful in business, in sales, in their career, a successful mom, if they already have those reminders on the outside of how they already are this, this person that they desire to be on the outside, then it's easy to reinforce it on the inside. But what about when you grow up in like abject poverty? When you grow up with like zero role models around you, um, it's really hard to get the energy of momentum because you don't have those reminders on the outside. You have to constantly reinforce it on the inside. And so when it comes down to this, where you place your focus, you're either doing one of two things. You're focusing on the, the lack of what you want or you're focused on the abundance of what you want. And that's always a choice. But this, this place of focus is always a subjective self-image. It's, it's how you internalize your focus you could be looking at the outside world and your eyes are picking up a small sliver of reality but you can look at everything to one of two ways you're either looking at you know I just got this response to someone on LinkedIn who messaged me and it was like you could totally look at it oh he's like totally pissed and like you know was annoyed by this message that he got um, but the other way you could look at it is that he's totally like what a great pitch and um, um, honored to be connected so it's like you can look at it totally two different ways and so this uh, subjective focus that I'm talking about is really important when you're creating more of what you want it's really comes down to the absence of it or the abundance of it so there might be people very close in your life that remind you of the absence of the things that you want but it's your job to go back and focus on the abundance and it doesn't matter how you do it. Now, as you start to focus on the abundance of what you want, what happens is you get this energy of momentum, meaning it's easier to take action. It's easier to go and exercise. It's easier to write, eat the right foods. It's easier to make the sales calls. It's easier to, you know, like write that book. It's easier to do the things that you would need to do to get the desired result you want and what a lot of us will do is we focus on the absence of what we want so it's there's a lack of it and then we force ourselves to do the thing we need to do to get the thing we want and what I'm saying is don't do that instead spend more time focusing on the abundance of what you want as if it's abundantly in your energetic auric field it may not be in the physical external world yet but just focusing on the abundance of it and then taking action to get that energy of momentum. So the energy of momentum is a focus first and then feelings and then action. Not action, not then, you know, action, feelings and thoughts. 
Because if you're acting from a place of scarcity, you're just going to go back into an old pattern anyways. You might as well get into the place of focusing on the abundance of you want first, start to feel that abundance, and then act and take action. Because the action becomes obvious. And it's like I said, it's you get this energy of momentum. It's easier to do. It's like, you know, ask anyone who's like successful in business and they will say, well, it like it's fun for me. It's easy to do. It's because it is fun to do. It doesn't mean that they don't have pitfalls. It doesn't mean they have challenges. It doesn't mean that sometimes the bank account gets wiped out and you don't know how you're going to buy groceries the next day. It doesn't mean that that never happens because it's happened to us. But it, what it does mean is that you can always go back and change your focus, focus on the abundance, the things that you are in a state of feeling that are on their way to you even though they're they're not physically there yet but then that alone changes the 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 feelings and then the actions you take and then all of a sudden boom 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 it all starts to line up on the outside so just remember that whatever you're focused on on a day-to-day basis a moment-to-moment basis you're reinforcing the future version of yourself and what i'm saying is focus on the abundance of what you want not the scarcity of what you want but also remember that it's subjective. Everything is subjective. It's not like this physical 3D reality is real in the sense that it's real reality. The real reality is where you focus your attention because that will direct and create the physical 3D physical reality. Okay, cool. I hope you found that helpful. Um, there's been a little bit of delay with my book, but it is coming out this month. It's just getting formatted now. It'll be on Amazon this month. We're in August now. I wanted to also let you know that for those of you who buy a copy of the book, if you leave me an honest review on Amazon about what you read in the book, an honest review, doesn't have to be a great review, an honest review, then what I will do is, if you want, I will send you a personalized signed copy of the book delivered direct to your address for no additional cost. And I'm doing that so that I get some reviews for the book, okay? Awesome. It's going to be also, I'm also working with uh, someone who's going to be publishing it uh, internationally. So uh, we're looking to get it in other languages. And I already have three people who want it in Italian, which is fantastic. So uh, we're looking at that as well. So if English is not your native language and you'd like it in your native language, obviously let me know in the comments below and we'll do our best to get publishers that will translate and publish the book in your native language. Okay. Uh, Thanks again for watching and being a subscriber. My name's Steve. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if um, it benefits someone that, you know, is in your sphere or colleague or family member or friend could benefit from watching it, please share it with them. Okay. Thanks again for watching. My name's Steve and we'll talk to you next time.